guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new thanks for clicking on this video and if you have clicked on this video i'm sure it's because you are curious about what i'm about to tell you guys and we are about to fall deep deep into a conspiracy theory hole i just want to start off by saying you know for the people who are really stressed out and anxious and people who have lost their loved ones, friends, family due to the coronavirus. I am so, so, so sorry and I wanna send my condolences to each and every one of you. And um, for those of you who are safe and healthy, um, I hope you stay that way. I pray everybody stays that way. <sighs> This virus is spreading around the world very quickly and everything is shutting down. Sporting events, large gatherings, schools, work, hand sanitizers are selling out everywhere and I'm pretty sure on Amazon they're completely sold out or if not they're selling for hundreds of dollars and for some reason toilet paper is gone out of all of our grocery stores and I don't know why that's the first thing people decided to buy because we don't need toilet paper to survive, I'm just saying. I just think that there's a lot of stupidity going on around the whole chaotic, you know, buying of all of these things in bulk because it's just not fair to everybody else and it's, I, to, in my opinion, it's a little bit of an overreaction. It's honestly crazy. I mean, are people overreacting or do they have every right to be scared and anxious and want to protect themselves and their family and stock up? which is completely fair. The truth is, and I think most people know, that everybody, most people are gonna be okay. If they get the coronavirus, they will survive, they will get through it. It's mostly just like a cold or a flu, but for the people who are elderly or the people who their immune systems are compromised, like my sister Jess, and people who are sick, have cardio cardiovascular diseases, stuff like that, it can be deathly. It can be deathly. They can die from this. A lot of people are dying from this that have compromised immune systems and are elderly. So we can't just brush it off to the side when you're, you know, young and healthy and being like, oh, people are re overreacting. If you get sick, you're gonna be fine. And that may be true, but I think the overreaction is coming from you know, even if you were to get sick and you were to be okay, you still have your grandparents and you still have the people in your family that are sick. People, you know, if you go out and you touch things and you talk to people and you breathe on people and cough on people and sneeze on people, they could get that and then they could infect somebody in their lives that they love and care about who are susceptible to being killed over something like this so it is a big deal it's not not a big deal because people are dying and just because you're not the probability of you not making it through the sickness doesn't mean that it's not serious you know what i mean um i'm sick of people saying it's not serious it is serious um however the media is making it up to be way worse than it actually is. I think the media is creating a worldwide panic and that's never good because then everything just goes into chaos and then we see things like empty grocery stores and you know things that are completely sold out all over the world because people are panic buying and bulking up and stocking up on these things and it's not fair to everybody else and for, you know, the people who are actually susceptible to dying from this disease, which are elderly people, can't afford or have the time or energy to go to a store and bulk up on a million things because all the other young people are taking up on all of it. It's just not fair. So, anyways, I'm sorry. I just went on a rant and this is not even what the video is supposed to be about, but I just wanted to put my two cents out there because... I don't know, I have something to say about it, so I just wanted to say it. And to those of you who disagree or agree, whatever, everyone's entitled to their own opinion, but that's what I think about the whole thing. So, wash your hands, use hand sanitizer, you know, if you are experiencing any flu-like symptoms or any cold-like symptoms, stay at home, don't go to school, don't go to 
big gatherings, don't go to the grocery store, don't go to anywhere that you could possibly infect other people. Just be considerate is what I'm saying. And before I get into the theories and predictions, um, I wanted to pretty much, if you are living under a rock and you don't know what coronavirus is or what the symptoms are, coronaviruses are a large family of viruses that cause illnesses ranging from the common cold to more severe diseases like pneumonia, MERS, and SARS. And the common symptoms are high temperature, cough, shortness of breath, breathing difficulties, body aches, muscle pains, which are pretty normal flu-like symptoms. More severe symptoms are high fever, pneumonia, kidney failure, and death, obviously. And the transmissions are obviously coughs, sneezes from one infect infected person, or touching contaminated objects, and they're saying that uh, viruses can stay on surfaces for up to three days. And it's officially been declared as a worldwide pandemic, so that's pretty freaky. And even celebrities are starting to get tested positive for the coronavirus, which is pretty unfortunate, like Tom Hanks and his wife, and just this morning I found out that Justin Trudeau's wife, our Prime Minister, the Canadian Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau's wife, Sophie, is also tested positive for coronavirus. As well as uh, a lot of like sports athletes and stuff like that. I'm not into sports at all, but I know a lot of, you know, athletic people, celebrities have been tested positive for coronavirus as well. And what's really scary is that people who are traveling outside of their countries, like Canada or the States, um, it's a scary time. I don't suggest anybody be traveling right now because they can shut the borders down. They can close the countries and not let anybody in or at least be quarantined for a specific amount of days before they can actually go home. Um, this is something that is probably going to end up happening and so I don't suggest you go on those vacations, cancel them. Your health is way more important and also your well-being and your safety. Um, I suggest just staying home and just staying comfortable where you live. Um, because if they shut down and they close down those borders, you're pretty much stuck. So that's something that's probably going to start happening, so be aware of that. Anyways, the first theory I wanted to talk to you guys about, which completely freaked me out when I read it, was that the coronavirus was predicted in a novel called The Eyes of Darkness. This theory is, in all pro probability, one of the scariest and will send chills down your spine straight up. Soon after the news of the outbreak broke, several internet users started pointing out that a passage from the 1981 book of The Eyes of Darkness by Dean Kuntz eerily predicts the coronavirus outbreak. The photograph of the passage from the book went viral in no time and the evidence is pretty hard to dismiss. To give you some background, the plot is based around a mother who attempts to find out what happened to her son after he mysteriously disappeared on a camping trip. It turns out that the boy is held in China, more specifically in Wuhan, the site of a deadly virus outbreak. Let's continue. The passage in the passage, a character named Dombey narrates an account of a virus called Wuhan 400, which was developed at the RDNA lab outside of the city Wuhan, and it was the 400th viable strain of man-made microorganisms created at the research center. The passage then gives intricate details about how the virus affects the human body. The chilling accuracy with which this 1981 book predicts the outbreak and the resemblance between Wuhan 400 and the coronavirus is eerily similar to say the least. I don't know guys, what do you guys think? The next one is uh, something that I actually found on Facebook the other day that just freaked me out so much. Um, let me know what you guys think, but if you guys know the psychic Sylvia Brown, um, she wrote a book in 2008 of her prediction. In 2008, you guys. And it said this. In around 2020, a severe pneumonia-like illness will spread throughout the globe, attacking the lungs and the bronchial tubes and resisting all known treatments. Almost more baffling than the illness itself would be the fact that it was 
that it will suddenly vanish as quickly as it arrived, attack again 10 years later, and then disappear completely. This is so weird, you guys. Like, I can't believe this is a thing. And then another creepy theory that hits more close to home for me as I am a Christian and I believe in the Bible and I read the Bible. This is what people are saying. The apocalypse or the end of the world is near. Lots of Bible verses from the Bible, Jesus himself said pandemics of pestilence would happen before his return. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be pestilences in diverse places. Pestilence is in the context means disease outbreaks on a massive scale. So a lot of people are going crazy saying that this is the end of the world, you know, read up on the book of Revelations chapter 6, it's in there, it makes sense, this is the beginning of the end, apparently. I hope not, because I'm trying to get married, y'all. And another last scary theory is that the virus evolves and mutates just like in all horror movies, resistance to all treatments and cannot be contained and wipes out the whole world. I highly doubt that, you guys. Come on, summer's coming, it's almost spring, I'm wearing a tank top, it's sunny outside. Let's look at the positives. Let's look at the positives. Anyways, these are all just theories. Let me know what you guys think. I couldn't believe how much I found on the internet because I really wanted to make a video just saying what I thought about the whole thing and just, you know, getting it out there but also like make an interesting video for you guys and like on the kind of eerie spooky scale because I know that's what you guys like for me on my channel. So what do you guys think about all of these? What are your theories and predictions? Please leave them in the comment section below and I will read them. Let's stick together. Everybody, it's all love. Just remember to wash your hands, use hand sanitizer, don't touch your face. And if you feel sick, flu-like symptoms, cold-like symptoms of any kind, just stay home. Don't hug or touch or kiss people. Just stay home and yeah. Everybody stay safe, stay healthy, and I'm praying for y'all. I'm praying for y'all. I love you guys so much. If you like this video, click that thumbs up button and hit subscribe if you haven't already. And click the notification bell because I do make videos every single week. And I love you so much, guys. Bye.